what do you feel you found in in that process of letting go of control mm. in that experience with the violin or in other life experiences like what's the kind of shift the the kind of attitudinal yeah. shift or that's taken place for you because i mean you know i can share my own experience as well but i'm interested to hear from you what has come up when you try to go down that road of acceptance yeah it's uh and I definitely want to hear your thoughts on this. I think one lesson is a sobering one, which is as humans, I think we can feel entitled to. Oh, that's exactly what I was yeah. going to say. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, entitlement. Yeah. Yeah. Entitlement. Yeah. entitlement. Entitlement it's to like, gratitude, right? Absolutely. So mm. you you start off, especially when you're younger, though. I mean, honestly, this has followed me throughout life. You feel look, if I put in, if my inputs are there, right, if I try really hard, if I work really hard, if I crush every day, like, certainly it's an input output model, this life thing. And then shit hits the fan over and over again at various points in your life. And you realize control is truly an illusion. And that um, bad things befall mm. great people all the time. Uh, and there's there's no, in my mind, sadly, you know, I don't believe things happen for a reason. I just believe life is actually the the randomness we see around us. And that's both a sad realization to have, but it also is, in my mind, a more accurate one to operate under. And to me, that brings me some solace. Like when a bad thing happens, I don't feel it was willed by anyone or anything. I just think it is in that, in the realm of randomness that happens in our lives. 